Hello, my name is Dr. Carlo Oyer, board certified emergency physician, and in this patient education video, we're gonna talk about bursitis. Bursitis is a condition that can cause pain or swelling next to a joint. Most of the time, bursitis happens around the shoulder, elbow, hip, or knee, but it can happen in other joints in the body. A bursa is a small fluid sac that sits near a bone. It cushions and protects nearby tissues when they rub or they slide over bones. These sacs, called bursa, are found in many places throughout the body. Bursitis happens when a bursa gets irritated or inflamed and swollen. This can happen for many reasons. When a person moves a joint over and over in the same way over a short period of time, when they sit on a hard surface or stays in a position that presses on the bursa for a long time, when they have certain kinds of arthritis such as gout or rheumatoid arthritis that can affect their joints or bursa, when they get hurt near the bursa, or they have an infection that spreads to the bursa. What are the symptoms of bursitis? Symptoms of bursitis can include the following, pain or tenderness, swelling, and trouble moving the joint. A bursa can get infected if a person gets a cut in the skin nearby. An infected bursa can cause fever and the area around the bursa to be red, swollen, warm, painful. If you have the symptoms of an infected bursa, let your doctor or nurse know as soon as possible. Is there a test for bursitis? Yes. Your doctor will ask about your symptoms and do a physical exam. If you have symptoms of an infected bursa, your doctor might use a needle to remove some of the fluid from that bursa. Then he or she can do lab tests on the fluid to find out what is causing the bursitis and whether or not you need antibiotics. He or she might also order imaging tests such as an ultrasound or even sometimes an MRI. Imaging tests can create pictures of the inside of the body and therefore help us determine if there's infection or not. What can you do to treat bursitis? To treat your bursitis, you can rest, cushion, and protect the area. Try not to irritate the area that hurts. For example, people with very painful shoulder bursitis might need to avoid lifting or carrying heavy things for a while. They might also need to wear an arm sling. People with bursitis behind the heel might also need to use a thick heel pad. This can raise the heel so that it doesn't rub against the back of the shoe. Avoid positions that put pressure in that area. For example, people with bursitis in the front of the knee should avoid kneeling. Put ice on the area to reduce pain and swelling. Use a frozen bag of peas or a cold gel pack for a few minutes a day for 20 minutes each time. Put heat on the area to reduce the pain and stiffness. Do not use heat for more than 20 minutes at a time. Also, do not use anything too hot that could burn the skin. What other treatments uh, are there? Your doctor or nurse might use other treatments depending on the symptoms and where your bursitis is. Treatment can include pain relieving medicines called non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or NSAIDs. These include ibuprofen, which sample brand names are Advil and Motrin, and Naproxen, sample brand name Aleve. These medicines can reduce the pain and prevent the bursa from getting swollen and more painful. They can also do steroid injections. Steroid medicines help reduce inflammation. These medicines are different from the steroids athletes use to build up muscle. Doctors can inject these steroids into the area of bursitis to help reduce the symptoms. Exercises and stretches. Your doctor or nurse might recommend that you work with a physical therapist. A physical therapist can teach you stretches and exercises to help reduce the symptoms. Surgery. A doctor can do surgery if other treatments do not work and you have had symptoms for a long period of time. People with an infected bursa might also have treatment that includes antibiotics. Having the fluid in the bursa drained. A doctor can drain the fluid using a needle or syringe or by doing 
minor surgery, cutting it open and letting it drain. Can bursitis be prevented? Yes. To help reduce the chance of you getting bursitis, you can use cushions or pads to avoid putting too much pressure on your joints. For example, people who garden can kneel on a kneeling pad. People who sit for a long time can sit on a cushioned chair. Take breaks. If you're using certain kind of joints too much, stop an activity or change the way you're doing that activity if you feel pain at the site. Exercise. Lose weight if you're overweight. Use good posture. For other videos like this video, please go to patienteducation.video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.